All right, so um, for fuel, we need to have uh, something that keeps the uh, water from getting in. So there are different different products. Okay. Um, there's the Startron, and then there's uh, Stable. Marine Stable is pretty good. Okay. Um, so Graydon, come here. I'll show you the carb again. Okay. Um, so you want to make sure you have stable. I don't know where my other, like, actual, like, dirt bike on is. Down here, we've got, uh, the petcock. Yep. So what's off? I have Can you show me what? Are. Um. Okay, good. Okay. That's, okay. All right. So off is when it's. It's right lined here, up with the and off. it's lined up where it says off. Okay, good. Okay. All right, now put it back. Now, when you're not using it, you want to, um. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Now there's a couple other things. This is a choke. Yeah. So you don't need to use the choke when it's hot already. Mm -hmm. But when you fire it up for the first time, you, you gotta, gotta pull it. pull all the choke, pull it all the way up. Pull it up and then wait till you get it going. Mm -hmm. And even if you're just cranking a lot of times and it doesn't fire, you can bring it down. So it actually turned on for me earlier when it was cold when I brought it down, but that was the first time we fired it up. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this is the drain. We're gonna, you're, when you don't use this for a long time, like the winter, you actually want to drain the fuel bowl. Okay. All right, so there's the tube here, and the thing to drain it is on the other side. Yep. So when you drain it, you're gonna have this off, and we're gonna open a valve down here. So let's go to the other side. And the sequence to start it, we need to have this down, need to be in neutral, okay. and you need to have the brake far back enough that you hit a switch. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had a, a, and there's throttle here. When you first start it cold, you might need to pump the throttle a few times. Five times. Yep, you might okay. do, need to do five times. Um, and then you need to have this on. And to kill it, you kill it there. Yep. All right, so. Oh, and then more, most importantly, the key. <laughs> yeah, you need a key. All right, so Graydon, hop off for a second so you can see this. This is the drain down here. So when you take this for the winter, mm -hmm. you're gonna open this valve right here. Yep. And that's gonna drain the fuel out of this bowl so that it doesn't spoil inside the bowl. Mm -hmm. So you do that with these devices every every winter when you're not using it for more than a few months. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we do that with generators, we do that with lawnmowers, we do that with this too. Now, this is the idle adjustment screw. If you, I think it was screw in, it's gonna go up, your idle will go up, you screw out, the idle will go down. I think you're adjusted pretty well right here, mm -hmm. but it might be different when, you, when you're when you running it cold for yeah. the first time again. And then this is the pilot mix here. Now I ended up going, see these marks here? They actually marked it with a uh, Sharpie to show you the alignment. Okay. But I ended up going a full rotation out on this to get the pilot mix right. Because as it came from the factory, this was set up with the idle a little bit too low and the pilot too lean. And so the ATV would stop every time you got on the throttle. Mm -hmm. um, this is the air filter here. Mm -hmm. There's a foam element inside that you should clean periodically. This is your oil fill here. Okay. So this is actually gonna have a check on it, or usually does. Let's see if this one does. See, that's an oil check. So it's been running around. So right now this isn't going to give you a great measurement, but um, you can clean this off. And if you, your garage is pretty flat, so you can check your oil in here when it's flat. Um, there's going to be a screw on the bottom where you can drain your oil. Okay. Um, it's going to be on the same piece of metal. It's probably underneath there somewhere. And in terms of your other regular maintenance, you want to make sure your tires are pumped up. Yep. To 24 PSI. Max. Yeah, yeah that's the maximum. So um, you can have it higher for, for uh, road use and lower for off-road and sand and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but you want to make sure you don't go above that. Okay. And uh, your battery is underneath. Let's see. Um, if you don't use it for a long time, put your battery on a battery tender. Mm -hmm. And that's about it for your, your maintenance. So I'll send you all the videos so you know all the things that you kind of need to keep up with. Awesome. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.